I Picky Part 2. Here we have the opening screen again and uh, in the middle here we have this enable local storage. So let us see what happens when we click on here. The first thing we have is a screen saying enabling the local storage allows iPicky to store loaded, uploaded files on your hard drive and use them in the blender, uh, the collages and get the ability to restore your last work which sounds very useful. You understand that uploaded files exist on this computer only and will not, won't be available to others. Photos from local storage will be deleted if my operating system gets damaged, reinstalled or I turn it off. I'm responsible for saving any important images outside of iPicky. I will temporarily store only working images here. Right, having said that, we click on here and now it says click to enable local storage, that's this button. When Adobe Flash Player setting dialog appears, click the allow button, which is obviously that one. So what happens? And there we go. Local storage. iPicky is requesting permission to store information on your computer. It's requested up to unlimited. Currently used four kilobytes. Right, let's click allow. And now it says it up here it has been enabled. Now that means we can, for instance, move instead of going to there, we'll try this one here, collage. In collage you start off with, in this case, four squares, which you can fill with pictures. Or you can go over to here and choose any of these patterns and get different shapes and so forth. Or one big photo, as it's called, I don't quite know what that means yet. Uh, jigsaw, they call that one. Advanced, they call that one. So there's all manner of shapes for inserting images. Let's choose one like that. Now the thing is, uh, you've got to add images to it. Here it's giving you the size. Whether we can change that, I don't know. And the spacing, well, if we move that, the borders get thicker, obviously. It was 10, wasn't it? Was roundness, so you can round the corners. Proportions. Ooh. Gosh, I have it as a square thing, or not? Oops. Yes. Yeah. Hard to get it back again. Right. So that's how it was. The background can be any colour. Let's try a different colour from black. Let's try a sort of that colour. Oh no, not like that. <laughs> I don't like it. A royal purple, perhaps. Put a bit darker, like that. Right. We oh, have it transparent. Oh. Right. Okay. So that's okay. Now then, we've got add images. So we click on here. We get back to pictures that have been uploaded. Now we haven't uploaded any apparently because we didn't have the enabled local storage. Click upload, go to our pictures, pick on that, pick on this year, go back to um, June, around about the 13th, 14th, I don't know which, perhaps the 13th would be better. Okay. We'll go back to the 12th, see what that's like. Ah oh, yes. That would be better. Um, something like this might be quite nice. This is a picture of Luca. Oh, I see. We had, an, and we had another photograph. Oh, oh sorry. Upload oh, another photograph. We'll keep it in Luca. So we'll move along to a different part of Luca. We can put this one, you see, at the bottom, because it's long and thin, maybe. And then I'll find another one. I'm moving out of Luca, if not careful. The one with some people in it there. 
and we need another one, don't we, to make four. <laughs> God, it's hard work, this. There's a street scene. One was a bicycle in it. I'll put that one in. So now we've got them, four of them, and loaded up. And we can click autofill, and there you are. Done. Look about that. I might want to move that one a little bit. And we can. We can just move them across so that they're centered right. In fact, we can move that quite a long way because it's the sort of image it is. And that's better, isn't it? You can't go up on any of them. Oh, good. I didn't like that white bit down there, so I'll move that across. Just a smidge. Like that. What's happened here? I've accidentally pressed something. Local storage. How much information can iPicky store on your computer? So at the moment it's unlimited. I can see we can swap it down to 1 megabyte, 10 megabytes. Oh, I'll leave it on the unlimited. Okay, so there we have an image. And um, I think that's a pretty good arrangement. Maybe that would be better on the left and that on the right. Is it got up there so if I move, can I move that one to there? I can, I don't know that. And that one across a bit again. So there we are, I think that's highly satisfactory. So we click quality high of course. And we press done. And now we can do whatever we want to do back in the normal eye picky thing. We can we can brighten them up and uh, click fix image, for instance. See if it does anything. No change there, as far as I can see. Switched it off. It's still okay. Rotate, flip, da 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 da. Nothing there. Sharpen is the only one where we could possibly. At the moment, it's 22 percent in size and click to one to one and then we move the sharpening tool across somewhere like that clarity it's just over the top so we move things that back I think clarity is overdone. It actually takes a little while for it to go. Right, we'll consider that okay. Go back to fill the screen. And we can now assume I think that's finished. So if we move on to this area, we can now save it. And we get to this page here, we it calls collage, but we need to call it uh, Lucker Montage. And then we can click Save Photograph. And that's good with the size, and that's the quality. Okay, so that's 2.183 megabytes. And we need to put it in, well I'm putting it back in the same folder. But I could, instead of now I could close the photograph and start again, do something new, or I could go to continue editing. And if I go back to save, I can now save it to Flickr. Click on the Flickr, and hopefully it will save it to my own Flickr. It's got to, re got to retitle it again.
three tags on there. It's not on a set. Could make it public or private. Let's make it public. And we click save photo. And then we cross our fingers. That's a big file, as you know. So it's going to take a while. Apparently, a long while. Right, it's done. So now let's click close photo and it brings back to your uploaded photographs. But I need to go onto my Flickr account, don't I? Which I can get to from here. There, that Flickr account. And then if I go down to on my photo stream and there it is it's appeared here already on the Flickr for the Flickr site and there we are and I can change what I wrote um, and so forth so there we are that's how that part of it works